right, everybody. Hail and welcome back to another episode of Midgard Musings. My name is Jesse, and I am the host here on this channel. And the things pertaining to Norse heathenry and Germanic paganism, quite often what is usually lumped into a generic or umbrella term of Ossetry. If those sorts of things are of interest to you and you want to hear more about them, then I invite you to please subscribe to the channel right down here below. Ding the bell notifications and make sure that you have selected all so that way you are notified whenever I upload new content, stream live, etc., etc. And also, uh, I invite you to check the description area for the way that you can join Midgard Musings uh, and become a member of this channel and receive some extra perks, some nice incentives, some little extra bells and whistles um, that kind of go along with your support here. Um, as always, please check the description area as well for the Linktree link uh, for all the free ways that you can support the channel by following me on my social media, of course, subscribing to the channel, liking the videos, commenting, all that fun stuff. That definitely helps and is greatly appreciated. But check all that other stuff down there below as well and see what fits you. All right, so the reason for today's video or the topic, I guess you could say for today's video is to kind of celebrate a little bit in a, in a, in a sort of celebration way. Um, our mothers, our matrons, our motherly uh, figures in our lives who have been here for us in our lives, throughout our lives, um, because today in the United States, um, it is a national recurring holiday called Mother's Day. I'm sure everybody that watches this video, these videos, or anybody that that's anybody nowadays knows what Mother's Day is. Um, it is a relatively new holiday that was uh, um, it came into being as a sort of celebration, sort of thing, at the turn of the 20th century. I believe it wasn't, uh, her name was Anna Jarvis, who was looking to commemorate and honor her at that time deceased mother. Um, and it started as that, and it became a national holiday, I believe in the early 1900s, in like the 1914, somewhere around that time frame. Uh, the president at the time declared it a national holiday. And so, um, Ever since then, it's been something that every year uh, here, at least in the United States, we uh, look to celebrate our mothers and it extends to, like I said before, those motherly figures, uh, usually like grandmothers, aunts, um, our female caretakers and things of the family, uh, that sort of thing. Th th those women in our lives and in our families who have been an impactful presence in our upbringing, in our, um, in, you know, in learning just how life goes, um, that sort of thing. So today is Mother's Day. Um, and while it is a relatively new quote unquote holiday, uh, while it is a relatively new, you know, thing to, the, to exist on like the calendar and have a, you know, a calendar date um, tied to it. I did want to do a quick video today and touch a little bit on uh, kind of what it means to me uh, and hopefully what it might mean uh, or give you some ideas to think about or what it could mean for you from a heathen perspective. Um, and as a reminder, you know, so much of what I do here on this channel is um, a, a good mixture, I think a healthy mixture of historical fact or historically based sort of things with a, like I said, a healthy mi mix of modern day um, touches and modern day flares because we are modern heathens. We are, you know, heathens living in modern times. So um, things kind of, for me, need to fit for that reason. Um, and I did want to talk about today specifically uh, from my perspective, from this heathen's perspective. So take it as you will when it comes to that. But, um, you know, over the years, um, in my growth as a heathen and my growth as an individual, I have really, I have really come to um, appreciate and value and hold a great amount of worth to what my mother has done for me 
in my life over the years because everything that I learned about life, everything that I learned about, you know, just how to do so many things, um, whether it be um, balance a checkbook or um, drive a car or um, just general wisdom of life. You know, so much of my mother's wisdom was imparted to me over the years and still does get imparted to me um, even to this day. She is still alive and she is still with me. Um, although we are separated by miles and distance, um, our, our relationship um, is still a relatively healthy one. I say relatively only because um, the religious path that I follow does not jive with the religious path that she follows and my family in, in the North follow. So there's that sort of, um, you know, there, there's that challenge. But um, despite all that, she is still very active in my life and still will talk with me and we will have conversations and lots of things. And, um, you know, like I said, she, she, she shared a lot over the years and she did the best that she could as a mother to teach me things that I would take with me into my youth and into my adult years, which I have. And I credit largely the person that I am today uh, due to the efforts that my mother put forth into my upbringing. Not to say that my father and other people in my life weren't present because they were and they were very active and they were, um, they, they themselves also imparted important things uh, for my life and, and that helped form the person that I am today. Um, but I wanted to focus specifically on the mother, on mothers today for, for the obvious reason. Um, we see in various cultures going back to, to ancient times, even though Mother's Day um, in modern time is a very relatively new holiday. The, the, the adoration, the honorifics, the, the, the gesture to honor the mother um, in various cultures has been there for thousands and thousands, if not longer, um, thousands of years across, like I said, many different cultures. We see um, celebrations um, and um, honorings being given to mothers in uh, Roman culture, Greek culture, Indian, all different kinds of places, Germanic even. Um, and specifically for us as, as Germanic heathens or as Norse pagans, um, like I said, whichever title, whatever name you want to put to it as, you, as we're still navigating through the, you know, the titles and the names of things. Um, we hold a very, we hold in very high regard um, the feminine, the role of the feminine, women in general, but mothers specifically. We look at the, uh, uh, the all mother, if you will, uh, Freyg, uh, wife of Odin, um, who weeps for Balder um, and who, you know, knows everything but doesn't say everything. Um, you know, she is, is, I believe, a goddess to preside over the hearth and home. And we see uh, in Germanic culture, uh, going back to, to ancient times, we, we do see uh, that the women had a very important role in society. I believe, if I, if I recall correctly, without having sources in front of me, I believe that, um, you know, Germanic culture was one of the few who uh, or wherein a woman could, you know, legally divorce their husband and take claim or stay claim the properties and things. And um, they, like I said, they were uh, caretakers of the hearth, the home, the farmlands, and, and that sort of thing. And they had a lot of of course, upbringing of children, childbearing, child raising, that sort of thing. Um, they have a very, very important and pivotal role in society, um, in our clans and in our hearts and in our homes and, and, and in society in general and on a broader scale in the community. Um, the, the role of the vulva, the uh, save work, that sort of all the mysticism surrounding um, Germanic paganism was at least, at least initially mostly held by or, or, or observed rather by uh, women and the feminine folk. So with, with, regard, to, uh, with, with regard to that, um, regardless of the, the culture, re with regardless of the you know, spirituality, the religion aspect of things, societally, you know, communally, 
speaking, um, women are important and our mothers are important. And some folks out there watching this video um, may not have their mothers presently around. Maybe their mothers are not active in their lives. Maybe their mothers have not been active uh, in their lives um, for their whole life. Maybe other folk have raised you, uh, whether it be other women or other people. Um, and that can be that can be a, a tough pill to swallow. That can be a tough thing to, you know, those are those are rough waters to navigate through. Um, I myself am fortunate to still have my mother uh, alive and, and, and having her been a, a very important part of my life. I'm fortunate for that. Um, however, I can relate and I can empathize with those who do not have a mother that is active in their life or that may have been passed because um, very, you know, someone who's very near and dear to me um, did not have her biological mother present in her life um, for most of her life. In, and in through very important parts of her life, her childhood or her infancy, her adolescence, her youth and into her adulthood. And it's only been very recently that her mother has um, made it in uh, a presence that has been worth um, cultivating a relationship with. Um, but that's not to say that other women haven't been a part of her life and that other women may not be a part of your life as well. If your own mother wasn't around or, or for whatever reason wasn't a part of your upbringing and couldn't impart wisdom and knowledge and, and, and valuable things for you, um, hopefully there was another. Um, I also have the fortune of saying that my grandmother was in a very, was a, was a very, very important um, part of my upbringing. Um, both of them were, but on my maternal side, on my mother's side, my mother's mother, um, had a very important role in my life. My aunt um, on my mother's side, who is my uncle's wife, also a very important um, part of raising myself and my sister. We relocated from, you know, one city to another and until our house was fit to be, you know, was fit to live in, um, she, she had a very important part in raising us and, you know, um, helping my mother raise us, uh, helping us get our education or schooling, that sort of thing. You know, so I feel that it's a very um, important thing now to, uh, today at least especially, I mean, it's, it's important always, but today it's like on the forefront of our minds because of, of it being Mother's Day. Um, but I did just want to talk about it a bit and, and remind us all that, it, that we don't need a special day to um, honor our mothers and honor those women in our lives who had such an important role um, in our, you know, in, in the way that we become as, as, as human beings and as people. Um, some other things that I think about too, with regard to mothers, you know, um, on some of the spiritual side of things, at least for me as a pagan, um, Yord, um, and she is Mother Earth. And she is, uh, she is mother to us all. Mother Yord is, is mother to us all. So I think about Yord and how we can honor the earth, how we can honor the earth that we call our home, Midgard. Um, take care of things, you know, um, take care of the land, take care of our, um, the land that we live in. Um, cultivate things as much as we can, as much as we're able to, that sort of stuff. So it was something that I wanted to talk a little bit about today and I wanted to put a video out here for um, you all to think about um, and share your thoughts. You know, um, how are you honoring your, your mothers, your motherly figures, those women and those people in our lives that have um, taken on that motherly role, whether they wanted to um, or not, um, but they, they took on that role um, because they had to, they, they, they had to um, care for us. They had to nurture us. You know, let's face it, our, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for mothers. Physically, we would not be here. Um, so as, as, as much or as little as your mother biologically maybe in your life, um, 
you are still here because of her. Um, and you owe your life, at the very least, uh, to that person. Um, and how you become, and how you have become, I should say, how you, you know, were raised, how you were brought up, the person you have become today is due to her or another who took on that role of the mother, you know? Um, and we owe everything that we are, I believe, as individuals to, to those types. Again, may not be mother in the traditional sense. Um, so much nowadays, we have a lot of caveats that, that come up, you know? A lot of single fathers that, that raise children. We have a lot of um, displaced families in modern times and, and things of that nature. So the, the, uh, the specifics are not quite as defined or the, or the lines are a little bit muddled um, when it comes to titles or names and things like that but the essence I, I feel is still there and, and the the meaning behind what a mother is and who a mother is still um, carries plenty of weight and a lot of importance um, to us as individuals and to us in our society so today on Mother's Day don't forget to honor your you honor your honor the mothers um, Give them a call. Let them know that you love them, that you appreciate them. And then going forward, don't just let it be one day. Um, remember that we are here because of them and we owe our lives to them. So that was all I wanted to do today, um, everybody. And that was you know, just a quick short video to say happy Mother's Day. Um, hail the mothers and Hail to you all. So let me know what you all think down in the comments section. Please don't forget to share this video, like this video if you did like it, give me your feedback and share it around. Uh, so until we talk again, hail. Happy Mother's Day. And we'll see you in the next video.